Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport, where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. Jennifer Jennifer Lopez, she's an opportunist. It's like when she, she's a fake. She she you know, the you know she dated Puff Daddy for her because she wanted to get into she's singing a, and dancing. She's a fake for her career. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I heard it's been a long time since she actually went back to the Bronx to see her old neighborhood. Yeah, she's no Jenny in the hood. Yeah, she's Jenny in the hood. The guy told me on the jet she does with the kids around her. She pushes them away. The moment the cameras are on, she's hugging them and the whole bit. He said she's a fake. Uh, when she got into uh, fashion, manufacturing her own clothes, of course, with her name on the label, you should see how horrible she spoke to her employees. Oh, she's awful. If, if things don't go exactly oh, know, my I way, know. you're fired. She's awful. Everybody's fired. Yeah. She's awful. They honestly just left? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Look at this. Holy shit. Our people, people are really messed up today. So old girl, boy, she can't show up huh, every day anymore. You know, you know what why? What did she say when you said every day? You know why I think, pain? you know why I think my hernia flared up? Because she was aggravating me. Well, why, what did she say when you said every day at 3.15? What was her reason? She tried to change the subject. Uh -huh. she, she says, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I said that. Or I, I says, I said, do I have to record you when I you I told you, you're, you're not listening. You're not listening. She accuses everybody else. You're not listening. You're not listening. I said, you're a liar. You're a chronic liar. It's got to stop. You heard her go. <laughs> you always get that the double laugh <laughs> when she's caught. That's like a, a nervous laugh, like sar or sarcasm. It's a nervous laugh, meaning I'm caught. Yeah, my hands in the cookie. What it means is I have no no argument. I can't argue with you. That's what it comes to means. <laughs> meaning I I can't defend myself. Oh, a, a person that lies profusely has no integrity. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. It's almost like and like that's why Marge got mad at me because I said you laugh at everything. Yeah, why did she? Because you you put it on the thing. No, Billy, but she, Billy no, said you laugh at everything. No, but she squints her eyes. I know, and, and, and I she, said, why does she laugh at everything? I said, Marge, it's not funny. It's a tragedy. Why are you laughing? Everybody here said, what did you say that's wrong? I said nothing. I said the truth. She laughs at everything, even tragedies. And I said, why are you laughing? What did I say that's wrong, Jimmy? Nothing. But I'm the bad guy again. See? If, she, if she was sitting here and we were talking about the hurricane hitting the Carolinas, she would she would yeah. she would uh, snicker. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I said it's not funny, Marge. Come on. So people are suffering. I think one of the one of the one of the villains on the Dick Tracy cartoon laughed like that. I don't know if it was Prune Face or Two Face. Or... Yeah. You can't do that. Man, 
John with his religious crap. You don't see him anymore. Oh, well, he vanished. So. Well, they left. Oh, they're gone. Well, oh, look at the state of Pennsylvania. It was um, over 300 pedophile cases. Catholic priests, over 300 or 200 sure. some. It's like, oh, it's at least a few hundred. Okay, okay. I've done this before. No, but that's just Pennsylvania. Are any of the world's religions correct or right? Uh, Watch, I'm not going to stop it. I'm not stopping. Is religion a totally low risk of bullshit? Wow, look at that. I would change course. I said it would do it itself. You know, somebody said to me, guess what? It's the Pope's birthday yesterday. I, I said so. It's my birthday too, but on Saturday, is he going to call me? It's like, and then the person says, well, it's a big thing to me because I'm devout. I go, devout uh, what? Devout. Idiot. So, so what about any, what about any other, any, any other person's birthday? Is he going to, yeah, right. Is he going to call William Moore? Suppose the birthday. Good. I hope you have a nice time. I hope you have uh, a nice day. So, where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, yippee. Everything is beautiful. These people are sick. Yeah. When I said to Richard the other day, the old guy, I said, you want to tell me what's good? I said, okay, I'll shut up in your car, you tell me what's good. Silence. I said, I asked you a question, I deserve an answer. What's good? You can answer me. Yeah, you, you know how many people say I'm... Can I'm, you answer me? What's good? I, I can't think of a damn thing right now. People say... I'm, I'm being negative. I'm negative. Negativity. No, 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 no. You're being honest and truthful. What's going on in the fucking world? Okay, what do you mean it's good? Name one thing. Name, name something, please. Anybody. I, I welcome it. I want to hear it. What's good? I'm thinking, and I can't. Missing, I can't. How many missing persons are there every year in this country? Children too. Children every day. Abductions. Rapes, murders. School shootings. Bombings. You look me in the eye. You tell me what. Oh, what about what about cops that blow away unarmed people uh, of good. color of color That's good. what well, about what people. happened in um you know how i feel about playing ostrich in test in te test texas the, the the white female cop broke wrong into the floor. man the wrong floor broke into the man's apartment and blows him away in his own in his own apartment they might raise the charges to murder too they they like Above manslaughter, right? They're gonna with murder. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> well, I like to say moida. That's the way the gangsters talk. Or oh, Brooklyn. What she did was wrong. Yeah, I, somebody breaks in and they shoot your dog, too. They, they go in your yard and blow you know, away your Jimmy, dog. Jimmy, let's be honest. How many, how many white guys do you they see? They blow getting, away your dog. How many guys, white guys do you see being shot? None, but 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 it's pretty horrible to shoot somebody's dog in your own backyard. But how many white guys do you see getting shot? I don't see any. They're all black, aren't they? Is yeah, they and unarmed. Mm -hmm. The cop says I felt my life was in danger. The guy's running away from you, and you shot him eight times in the back. Oh, the same Missouri, the town of Missouri. I don't know what town it was in. There was all, Missouri. You had the guy sitting in the car. His girlfriend was videotaping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going for my wallet, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The cops shot him. And the guy says, why? Why you? He hadn't died yet. Why'd you shoot me? And the cop says, I don't know. What about the heavy guy that was selling? Eric Gardner. Gardner cigarettes. Loose cigarettes. And that guy was a predator. That cop snuck around and gave him a chokehold and killed him. And that chokehold is illegal. You're not allowed to do that as a cop. He's supposed to subdue somebody, put handcuffs on him. He sold loose cigarettes. Come on. Big deal. If I was a cop, I'd say, Eric, you gotta get the crap or don't let me see it, okay? Yeah, look, you can't. Yeah, yeah, you That's can't. That's one of my buddies that are in for retired all of them. They're New York homicide. They said, Billy, you would have been one hell of a cop. Because you're fair to people. You don't do the bullshit through. I said, I couldn't arrest somebody for selling loose cigarettes. I said, Eric, you know, it's a law, buddy. Come on, man. I think arresting somebody for having one marijuana joint is retarded. Well, I would have let you go. I said, no. It's friggin' me. I would, no, I would have said, can I have a toke? Well, look at now. It's medicine. It's it's literal medicine. Back then, they didn't, back then, they didn't know jack shit. Then again, back in the 50s, look at the government, government films about dating and 
and, and, <laughs> and, and sex. I remember that. And, uh, you know, the guys all had suit and What? What do you mean, what? I couldn't have say hello to you. I haven't seen you in about six months. You ever miss a damn thing? What do you mean, nothing? You have. Take a look at this thing up there. You got air conditioning, don't you? And yeah, you're right about that. that. I called the boat show. Thank you I for what? Well, because she wasn't going to fix it. Oh, they did. Well, where the hell's the cashier? There's only, only one That's cashier. It. They didn't do nothing. Oh, they did. I told them to turn it off and turn it now, off. The, yeah, well, I know you. The you owner, what, what, what's who cares? What's tighter, being tighter in a clam's ass or a crab's ass? No. A, a duck clam. Ass. A what? A duck ass. A duck ass? <laughs> Duck's ass. <laughs> Oh, now I'm hungry. Now I'm going to have rose stuck yeah. tomorrow in the buffet. Well, they're going to shut the place down at the end of the month. They're going to renovate the place. You know, renovate. they're going to go Peacefield for a while, then it's closed oh, for two weeks. Yeah, that's a better word, though. Then two weeks, they're shutting for two weeks, that's all. They need to root. You know that because of the, the leaks there. over here. There's a leak over there and over there. You know that, I know that. It's but they got rid of Crystal, they got rid of Brenda, they got rid of you. Well, Crystal they? got rid of herself. You no, can't they want her out of here. You, you, can't, wait, you can't keep calling and sick all the time thinking you're, you yeah, own the place. That, Did you yeah. know they won't she give... She thought she ran the place. You can't keep doing but that. But do you know they won't give the manager's test to all the Caucasian employees that wanted to take the manager's test? None of them. Even the chubby guy. I even forgot Russell, his name. Russell. Russell. Right. He knew Remember every, Russell? He knew every square foot. The chubby place. guy, like Ralph Cranden. He's like the Jackie Gleason. Like anyway, whatever. He was white. He wanted to take the manager's test. Won't give it to him. But if, you, if you're not white, they give you the manager's system. Why would you do that? We see everything. We see everything in this place. My wife worked here for 30 years. I had the one guy, the manager, the good manager, the young man, this kid, the manager. Oh, he's a nice guy. He knows everything about it. He told me the other day, he goes, he said, I'm so fed up with this shit. He goes, I gotta say one thing. I've learned so much from you. I said, oh, oh thank you. I listened to everything you told me and told me. I said, thank you. Well, how many people really educate the world like you do? I don't know. Well, I told them. I said, you got to, I said, this shit's got to stop. You got the sign on me. This is the best first job you could have. Yeah, yeah, for a kid. Yeah. For a kid. For a kid. Not for Pocket money. Yeah. Yeah, just have money, you know, spending money. money. She made more money than the manager. And they complained about it. This is what the original was. And when it is, George, Mr. G took all this. This is other guy, right, I never met. You're gonna have to cut your salary. Really? You're gonna get too much money. Really? You can't do it. You know you I went the labor board down you, here. You know I went on Google a Google yeah, has you don't even try with the board of health. They're not worth a goddamn of this now. Oh they came down. Yeah, you know, they came down for one thing. And she says, We can't do anything about it. Uh, uh, air conditioning. We can only do heat. I said, whoa, wait a minute, hot shot. More people die from cold than heat. Or well, vice versa, I forget what it said. Every year. So what is this all about? What if senior citizen has an as or has an asthma said, why attack? Why is one more, way more has than the other? Why did you ca carry both ends of the spectrum here? I spoke to Teresa. You know Karen, the blonde? I yes, on the yes, yes, sir. Uh, my wife and Teresa started here at the same time. Once she's down at Wendy, she told me, one of the help down that passed out. Fourth of July. Remember how hot it was? Well, at Wendy's they passed out? Oh, so the daughter took over uh, 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 Wendy's, the, the chubby one. She's the original redhead. Oh, so she's the chief bastard too. Yeah. You know what? They don't know I, what to do it. You know, I thought this Daisy was going to come in here right, and run this place like it was going to be like a She only boat. gives me one or two napkins. Yeah, listen, I went on Google. I got so many reviews. You go on Google, I have a big, I got a big review like this on this place and other places. Micro Center in Patterson. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'll be right back. Micro Center in Patterson. They they sell computer stuff. It's huge. My friend bought a desktop. Thought it was brand new. It was on sale. It was sit sitting in the warehouse for seven years. I I put a review, and you know the owner contacted me. Saw the review overnight. He says, I want to discuss it. You know, I I emailed him. He hasn't he hasn't replied back to me. This was one of the best performing McDonald's there was. Well, look at the location. Look. It is. It's one of the best. Holiday Inn. The, the, look at this. The airport. The airport. Buses come in here. Yeah. Charter buses come in here. Yeah. Mary knows it. Mary. I just see Mary Mary. He Mary Mary, it. quite contrary. Yeah. Mary knows. She's been here about maybe 18 years now, right? But the whole time you know, right? 
These people took over right? and they run it in the ground. Location, you know when they say location is the most important thing? Yeah, this has got to be the best location for any anything. fast food. It, this was a money-making store. If they opened up a Popeye's next door, they would do great. If they opened up a, a, a whatever, they uh, thought Sonic Arby's. Was gonna, they thought Sonic was going to do good. It's so tough. I don't want any. I don't want to. One day it's so tough. I don't want drive through because I always wash my hands before I eat. I don't want, if you touch money, she every... Wouldn't talk to me. She, she wouldn't talk to me, Daisy. I said, I did She won't talk to me either. I did I'm the one that called the board of health. I didn't call them. I went up there. I called Oshawa. It's on my phone. I got fed up. I got fed up of coming here, right? Sitting here in a sweat. Over 100 degrees. Listen, I heard bullshit from Hackensack Board of Health and Garfield. You know why? I t Hackensack was uh, by Pathmark, well, the, the former Pathmark, bag bagel, whatever, bagel bullshit. The girl was handling money, and she was using, making bagel sandwiches with the with the gloves on, and she was touching money. I said, you don't do that. Every low life touches money. All right, Hackensack the uh, board health says there's no proof that there's germs on money. Are you serious? Serious? Are you serious? Then Garfield, I, they used to have a buffet. I tell you a story. Oh. I was in Kansas, Kansas City. I'm waiting to get on the train. Okay? DEA agents are there, checking the train, right? They're going through the whole car, right? Going through the street, right? Up. Every car, looking for the drugs. He comes up to me. He's smelling a car. You know what he was smelling? The cocaine and all the money in that car. You got so much money in your pocket that it traces a Even an ATM machine, you know, the people go to the know. bank? You know, yeah, how do like this? Let me see your pocket. Yeah. The dog's smart. Because the dog is like a German Shepherd or something. Yeah, that's what this was. Oh, they can smell anything bombs, bodies. Same thing with a lab. They've been in an educated dog. Labs, uh, you know, a pig's, it's hard to believe. But a pig sm smell is much greater than a dog. You know, a pig is related to a human being. The organs. They in Europe. They're using them for the transplant. They they use them to get truffles. You know, what truffles are they're very expensive mushrooms. They use them to find truffles. They use a pig's organ. Transplant. Wouldn't it be funny if some, if somebody can't eat pork and they and they and they transplant the organ? If you're going to turn around and run the fucking place, you're going to sit down here, right? People are sweating. I'm sitting right there, right? Sweating. I'm here 15 minutes. I haven't made my head leave the food. Do you remember how bad it was Labor Day, Monday, how, how uh, hot and humid? Yeah, it was right here in 4th of July. It was like a... Over 100, right? Yeah, over 100 in here. I took my phone, right? I could set the inside and outside. And I turned around. I'm all over there, right? That's it. Daisy don't do shit. Daisy don't do shit. She don't care. She don't give a shit. They're worried about it. And now it's comfortable with you. Now I can feel it. I honestly. Oh, he complains. He's a complainer. He complains about the heat. He oh, you know what he tells me? Leaking. You know what he tells me? I talk too much. Get to the point. I said, Bill, sometimes my stories. In other words, when you tell a story, sometimes there's, there's facts. Yeah, I said, sometimes you got to add more facts to it. I said, you ever hear about writers? Anthony Bourdain, God rest his soul, he, he was a writer. He complained about how cold it was. Because they didn't fix it. Right. The heating, the heating unit, the air conditioning unit. In the winter, it, they don't turn the heat up. No, it's broken. It's broken. Everything's broken. He's sitting over here, and the fucking thing is making him up over there. I'm sitting over there, they're sleeping over there. They, they got rid of the cable. We don't have CNN no more. We got to watch this. This. Uh, this. Uh, it's passable. Degenerate. I don't Ellen complain degenerate. about that. I don't complain about that. Oh, CNN. You're not a CNN fan. I watch it home. Yeah, me too. Whatever I can watch. Chris Cuomo. Yeah, whoever's on. Yeah, Anderson. I told her, yeah. that one right there, Daisy. Right? I said, you know the most important thing in the world is? Your health. It's your employee. I don't know, I'm oh, I mean, here. Your, your first thing is your employee. 
if you don't take care of your cut and you take care of your play, you could have came fucking business on the one day. I was a you I was a team for ten years. I I uh, um, yeah. I'm an old school Democrat, old school. Uh, it might be a bomb, be careful. Oh, okay. You leave a bag like that, you... It looks like this. Yeah, right, exactly. Exactly. It's a band, it's abandoned. Oh, he's gonna go over and grab the bag now. It's suspicious. Any, any abandoned... I told you. Yeah. They're gonna put it in the lost and found. Oh wow. It's like a full it's a full gym bag. We oh. walk back to Ethic Creek. And we go there and we go to the one up in Ghana State Park. It's a dollar to two dollars cheaper than here. But you can buy pancakes and everything to go over a dollar more. I don't mind a dollar. I don't want spending it. As long as I get what I want. Every Friday, I go to the Royal Hibachi Buffet, you know, Saddlebrook by the Walmart, and Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, Saddlebrook, $10, they got fresh seafood, nothing frozen. You know any seafood? You don't eat seafood, none? No shrimp, no lobster, no nothing? Okay. Billy likes seafood, right, Billy? Yeah. But well, they, got, they got barbecue, too. They got lamb, oh, I love leg of lamb. You ever see Brian, Bill? No. I came in once taking care of his uh, stepmother. Is that what he's doing? He, I haven't seen him in a year or so. He came vanished. in about two months ago. He's vanished. What? He's vanished. No, he is a uh, stepmother. He's taking care of her, saved some money. He never came in unless Crystal was here for some reason. That was odd, I thought. No, he came here at 10 o'clock in the morning, but he came back here when. Uh, he used to when he was teaching. He'd only be here when Crystal was here. I said, "Why are you only here when Crystal's here?" No, he ain't came here in the morning. I had breakfast with him in the morning. And he no, came that back. was after he retired, not when he was teaching. I said, "Why are you here only when Crystal's here?" Said, What's going on, Brian? Something going on? No, nothing going on. Well, the way he attached himself to her, her daughter. That was. Oh, her daughter was a piece of work. Oh, yeah, and I said, "Man, I said, come on, Brian, what are you doing there?" No. Can't get th you can't get through to, to people, so I don't know. What about your buddy? Bill. Glory, whatever her name is. The one with the glasses, the one that robbed the this and that, the one with the phones. The phones? Yeah, the one that had the phone stolen. She oh, the, 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 the nut job, uh, Eileen, Eileen. Laurie. She, she was here yesterday. Was here yesterday. Is wacky she drove us oh, nuts. Know, I tell you what, you should have been here, the other one out here. She's, she's homeless. Old. I'm sitting here, she sat over there, but I seen her once before. I seen her once before. Then she told me to go to the place to go. I'm homeless. Who said that? This woman. Eileen did? No, another woman. Another woman. Don't look at me, I ain't taking home. Eileen's a hoarder. You should see the oh, junk in her crazy. purse. She's crazy. You ever see the junk in her purse? She's got expired coupons. Uh, she uh, she, she lies not. about everything. She lies constantly. Constantly. So she was going to latch on to some guy. She thought she had it. Who? The other woman or Eileen? Latch on? Yeah. Latch on to the guy. She took him home. Uh, I well, don't want to do that. There's a homeless shelter. I don't take nobody home. Oh, yeah, so they rob you? They go through your dresser drawers and rob you. They go through your wallet while you're in the shower? She's sleeping in the car. Up at Stop and Shop in Hackensack. What, what car? I don't know. It's not the one with Georgia plates, is it? No, that's a different one. You know what I mean. I know who you very mean. Very skinny. Very skinny thin, one. Yeah. Somebody coke cocked her. You got her this side, then you got her on this side. Really? Really. Yeah, I see her. Wow. Skinny little bro, it's about that high. They're very, very thin. Very thin and very tall. 
I said, what happened to you? Who hit you? Oh, it's a long story. I felt, who hit me that bullshit? I said, oh, a week ago, two weeks ago, you had the other eye black. Now you got this one black. A long story. You think she's trying to prostitute herself or something? Hell no. I stay away from that shit. Yeah, this I don't is... even talk to your buddy. Who's that? Your friend. I have a lot of friends. Which one? <laughs> I mean, my God. Ah. You know what I'm talking about. That woman, that woman. Oh, Eileen? Yeah. Oh, the no oh. I ran into a old girl that I knew from the Players Club, a woman. She looked decrepit. She looked like she was halfway, one foot on a banana peel, one foot in the grave. If you looked at this woman. Oh, my God. She looked spotless. Yeah. She was clean. Yeah. But what the problem is, they grabbed her up at the hospital. And they said she's a crackhead. Ah. She, she's not. She wasn't. She was she did just somebody down on the reception desk said, she's a crackhead. They kept her in the hospital there. They run up a, They did this to her. I got pictures of her, what they did to her. You got George, a guy that comes in here. Hackensack, that that's just pure greed, that hospital. No, Hackensack is a dump. Oh, I don't like that. You like Holy Name and Teaneck? No, I like Valley. If you, I have to go to a hospital, I'll go to You know what Holy I Name did to me as an outpatient? Day. They charged my insurance over $20,000 just to take up space in a room wait, waiting as an outpatient. What a re And they paid it too. I said to United Healthcare, I said, what's wrong with you people? Why, why do you kowtow to these hospitals like that? I go to Mount Sinai. Well, I don't know. My sin I have sinus trouble. I would have trouble in Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai. Uh, so, get it? Sinai. Sinai. Um, Felix Sunday. Oh. Mount Sinai. Well, she told me the whole story, what they did to her. She called the cops because it's the first one. She did nothing wrong with me. When you get the other eye black and there's there's some suspicious going on there. No, I didn't know she I'd seen a plate she has out of state plate. I think it's a gold color coat. Yeah, George uh, Georgia it's a plate. Gold color yeah, it's like it's a peach like a peach on it or something. Yeah, so she turns around. I haven't seen her ever since. I don't want to see her. I saw her last week. Yeah, that was it. That was it. You dropped some, sir. You dropped it again. Don't lose that, please. All right, boss. You have you have joy. He came here the next. He came down to Saturday. His wife. They took the home, right? They took the home in the gown. That's it. Nothing on under the gown. Come on. Oh. Hey, Auntie, you ask George and his wife. It's a who? My wife, Hackensack, on a Saturday. Lawsuit. Lawsuit. And we can't find a lawyer really? Oh, they pay off the lawyer? They pay off the lawyer? I mean, they got too many. Oh. So in other words, if I went to a malpractice lawyer and, and then involved Hackensack, I don't... You mean I have to get a lawyer from another region to go after Hackensack? Yeah, I need a yeah, cause you need a lawyer that goes right for the jugular vein, right for the right for the neck, a piranha. His his lawyer that took care of him was great. But could it, no, so it'd be nice if you would have got a hundred billion dollars, but you know. How the heck did that old lady way back when get millions from See that? See all that? Oh my God. That's what Hackensack did in the emergency room. Did you... Did you see everything here? Did you try to seek out a different lawyer, like like you said? You ain't gonna do it. You gotta go way out of the area. Go down to Tom's River. Go down to Trent. So these lawyers are on here... Uh, they won't screw Hackensack. The kiss, Politics. The kiss and ass. Politics. Politics. Bergen County. Somebody rang my bell and says... Uh, can we put a sign on your lawn for Josh Gottheimer? I says, you tell that son of a bitch. I says, I, I went on a town hall meeting, telephone town hall meeting. I, 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 he says, uh, James, uh, what is your question? I brought up public transportation in the United States, how, how it's in shambles, how it's a dinosaur. He says, you have any other questions? He blew me off and he wants to put his political sign on my lawn. I, I told the girl. 
Did you take a picture of him? No, no. I took the picture. Did he marry Shiva? Uh-huh. You can take pictures of him. Can't take pictures? Take a picture. No pictures. Oh, uh, really? All over the hospital. In emergency, we make friends. Don't take no pictures. Oh, interesting. Even from your phone, you can't do it, right? That's how I got the pictures. This is in the emergency room. You can't take pictures. Yeah, because because they got a guilty conscience. All right, Bobby, good luck. I tell you, that's break up. That broke my heart, seeing the woman in a wheelchair. That really heartbreaking. Oh, God. Yeah, after seeing that, it makes you think, yeah, what is good? Getting back to your first question, what is good? I don't know. That's heartbreaking, man. And what and what and and what she, they did to her over there? Well, for him to say Valley's a great hospital, that that means a lot. Oh gosh. Got to go to one. Um, I don't know. Whiskey cafe somewhere. Try to break break the monotony. It's supposed to touch down tonight, right? You gotta be kidding me, he's got kids. Gee, you have children. I would pick evacuation if I had kids. I mean, if you don't care about your own life, do it for the kids. They're in for a rude awakening tonight. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.